Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon. Today I'm going to have a look around the Volkswagen stand uh, at this, the largest trade fair for RVs in the world. And uh, Volkswagen's always good for a laugh as far as high prices are concerned, so that's what we'll do now. The California Ocean, a car with a tent in the roof. Let's have a look at the... the how much this thing here is going to cost now, anyway somebody's trying out the the tent in the roof this thing will cost eighty eight thousand two hundred and fifty it comes with a uh, a kitchen a bit of a fridge i say a bit of it not the fridge is all right in size i suppose it isn't too bad you bring you've got uh, you've got this chair which sort of comes backwards and forwards and you've got something to put on top of the chair to actually make it into a bed it does look rather nice i mean i must say it does look a little bit better than what i was driving around it oh i can't move that so never mind i won't try any far i don't know I can't move that one either. So anyway, that's got stuck. But hey, we'll have a look at the uh, cooking facilities, even though I'm incapable of uh, opening the uh, the drawers too. This is a big improvement on previous years, in my opinion, uh, or previous models. Uh, two cook it, co two hobs, well spaced apart, and you've got here your controls for them. Oops, wrong one. And here we've got this uh, tiny sink, but it's a tiny car, so I don't suppose you can expect anything else. And, oh, I've put that in there. This cover is really, oh, I like that. That's, um, I do appreciate that it's new, but it's really, it's really tough. And uh, anyway, so anyway, in the, in the meantime, I've managed to open this. So you can have a look at how much storage is there. There's no toilet in this vehicle, of course. Most people tend to keep the toilets down there in the form of a porta potty. Let's see if I can open this one. Oh, I can. And down here, we've got this drawer here, which comes out to re reveal the place for your, for your cutlery, if you use it. And uh, I've just learned to use a fork and uh, got a bit more space uh, down there we'll put this thing back if I can yes I can but it's tough uh, in here we've got the fridge fridge is powered from the battery uh, which if I remember correctly is 95 ampere hours and so this could keep this fridge running I suppose for I don't know, maybe in three days something like that without the use of solar uh, if we come to the very front uh, we can look into the bed and the roof the tent in the roof easy access into the tent in the roof the mattress isn't particularly thick that's how it's just how tough it is i think that feels okay for me that feels hard enough for me and they've got the frovy system down here uh, so it's a good, it's a quality tent in the roof actually, but it is just a tent, it's just a bit of, uh, just a bit of cloth, uh, which uh, isn't going to help you much in the cold. You probably want another van for doing something like that. Uh, this one's an automatic, and if I come out, I've got to see it's a nice colour though. I like, I like this traditional type of colour, and okay. The mattress I mentioned earlier, I think I mentioned the mattress earlier, is this and the seats go down and this this goes over the top of it. In uh, most vehicles it's sufficient, but today I went into a, a Mercedes, uh, what do you call it, Marco Polo, and I could actually feel the buckles of the seat belt through that. Uh, somebody made a rude noise there, that wasn't me. Bit of storage there as well. Of course, it is a car, so don't expect too much. It's a car with a, uh, it's a car with a bed in it, so uh, that's it really. Um, okay, good. Let's go and see this one here. This is the California Ocean, and uh, this comes with. We've got a place there for the water. That's good, and also uh, the uh, incoming electricity when you unhook up. At uh, the back here, uh, we can see a similar sort of setup the thing will go forward to make a bed storage down there storage up there outer shower here and tent in the roof 
Right, so here we have got the California beach and uh, this thing here comes with a tent in the roof. It costs 72,000 euros and uh, as we can see from here there is a uh, uh, a sort of a grill like thing uh, and a sink of sorts. Is that a sink? Well, it's not really a sink because it hasn't got a hole in it. You need a hole to have a sink, don't you? Really, it's got. We just when I say grill-like thing, it's got one. It's got one burner which can be covered like that. I don't think. I think I was. I think I was a bit generous calling it a sink. I don't know what it's supposed. Whatever it is, anyway. Uh, here, two seats. And if I come to the back, this is the mattress which will go over the seats to make a bed. This one is on a manual. Got storage here in the under, uh, the, the, the under these seats. And of course, on these guide rails, the chair will go backwards and forwards in order to create the bed. Mm. Right, this thing here is the uh, 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 beach tour costs over 75,000 uh, so if you're going to drive this uh, next to the beach you wouldn't want to drive it on the beach because you're only going to get stuck it's got three chairs it's got three chairs that's come with seat belts it's got guide rails in the floor uh, comes with a brake and uh, wash wipe and a steering wheel and uh, if you wanted to make it into a bed, you have to push this thing over forward and you can sort of sleep on it. It's a, it's a car. Um, let's come, uh, what else have we got here? Oh, so we're coming out this one. This is the Caddy California. Comes in a 4x4 version. Fantastic colour. I'd really like my uh, uh, camper to be in that colour. And it only costs, only. <laughs> That's the cheapest thing I've seen here. I think even the sandwiches cost more than that. Uh, 44,292 euros and 99 cents this car comes with a uh, the a bed it looks like this uh, the seats as you can see have gone down and the bed has been put over it you can also get a thing to stick on the back of it to make a, uh, a private like tent thing uh, there you go there's some more info maybe six six speed um, over here we've got the uh, Grand California which is quite uh, uh, so it's quite an interesting vehicle. Comes in two sizes: one with lengthwise beds, and the other with a widthwise bed, six meters long and 680 centimeters long. And uh, though those say it looks a bit like a hospital inside, um, I think it looks quite cute, really. And uh, it was the version of this was the star of the show in 20. 17 when they brought out a California XXL but that didn't really take off uh, so this vehicle is actually a, a, a motorhome it's not a camper van it's manufactured in Poznan in Poland and it uh, uh, you have to see it in another vehicle but these vehicles these two here in my opinion are quite impressive as opposed to this ocean and beach and beach tour, which are not very impressive. So that is a look round the VW stand at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. You can also see I've done videos on this one here, Ford, and I shall be doing on lots of uh, vi uh, videos on other vehicles that you can see round here. To my left, we have the Citroen, uh, Citroen, Fiat, um, Peugeot and Opel stand. Uh, they've sort of had a rather limited presence because Fiat's having all sorts of difficulties delivering things. Probably not Fiat's fault, but it does have a lot of problems. And down here we've got Mercedes as well. But uh, this video was about Volkswagen and you've seen a Volkswagen campers that are here in Dusseldorf uh, this year and in in the Volkswagen position where they are every year so thanks for watching my channel on YouTube is the largest on van life there's more uh, vehicles on this 
the channel than anywhere else. If you'd like to um, uh, subscribe, that'd be great. And uh, you'll know when I upload, which is at 21.15 Central European time every day. But sometimes I actually do other things. I upload at other times. And uh, I, I do lives as well. And in lives, I encourage people to ask, ask questions. Please don't send your requests to me personally. I just met somebody at this event. said he wrote to me with his requests about wanting to buy a van. I don't respond because I get so many of them if I, I ended up. But if you can write in the, put it in the uh, comments. Uh, first of all, I actually see the thing. And also knowing that other people can actually respond as well so that's that, that that's the best place to do it put don't write to me personally but put it in the comments section thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in germany